Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And welcome back YouTube viewers. This is Let's Play Metroid Dread. And <clears throat> between episodes, I suddenly found myself curious about the amiibos because I mentioned a while back that there are six Metroid amiibos and I have all of them. There's the two from Smash Brothers, the two from Metroid Samus Returns, and of course the two from Metroid Dread. I've used the two from Metroid Dread, but now I'm wondering what the other four do. So let's try it. So this is uh, Smash Bros. Samus in her power suit. Okay. Exactly the same thing as the Metroid Dread Samus. Okay, so here's Zero Suit Samus from Smash. Again, energy recharge, okay. Well, that's kind of mundane. Okay, so here's Samus from Metroid Samus Returns. Again, just energy recharge, huh. All right, so here's the Metroid from Samus Returns. Missile refill, okay. That's, hmm. Yeah, kind of disappointingly mundane. So all of the Samus Amiibos, the four different Samus Amiibos, just give you life power refill, and the Metroid and Emmy Amiibos give you ammo refill. Yeah. Kind of meh, but uh, I suppose you can't expect too much. All right, so where am I going to go now? I was saying last time I was kind of at loose ends about where to go. I'm feeling like going back to Cataris, actually, because there is definitely a... Uh, screw attack wall in the boss room. The room where I just fought the boss a couple videos back to restart the power. That's quite a distance away though. Is there anything else around here that's worth exploring first? Uh, well, there's the starting room. I don't think there's anything up here at near the near the ceiling. But obviously I won't know for sure until I go back and look. Yeah, but honestly, probably be faster just to go to Cataris. Because all I have to do is just go down and straight across like this. Oh, and I can destroy this Enki, because I hate those things. Oh, I've never been to the top of this room. Not that I need to, it looks like there's nothing there. Oh, yes, there's also this, this big huge room that probably has a secret entrance into this off-map area where there's probably a treasure slash expansion pickup. Most likely just a missile pickup. That's not too far out of my way. I mean, it is out of my way, but not too far. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to check that out, and then I'm going to go back to Cataris. That's the easy way down. exactly do I need to go? I need to go quite a ways down, in fact. Quite a ways over to the right to get down here. 
Well, not quite a ways. And now... Just down here. Okay. <laughs> just... Somersaulted right into him. Okay, perfect. Ha. What the? Oh, are you kidding me? Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's have a closer look at the map. Yes! Yes, I need to morph ball spark across. I was halfway there. I was halfway there. seem to morph ball spark while I'm in the air and that puts me one square too low do I have to do it from the other side I'll bet I have to do it from the other side oh man <laughs> and here I just wanted to get out of here wanted to get out of here and go to Catarus, but no, something big came up. And now I have to do this. I just have to. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I can get a good running start here said, get a good running start here. Oh, darn, 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 darn. Okay, am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Scan pulse really quickly. Um, yeah, I'm getting kind of confused here. So I have to come from the right. 
but I have to be able to get up this ramp and I certainly can't do that normally morph ball sparking should be the only way to do that but, uh, I'm confused or maybe I need to have the wave beam because if I have the wave beam I'll be able to fire right down through the floor and open up that area there but hmm Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I have... If I'm going to Morph Ball Spark from this side, I have to be one square up in the air. And... Morph Ball Sparking normally doesn't accomplish that. Ugh. Okay. Guess I'm just going to have to wait. Where am I going now? I'm going to Catarus. Okay, I wanted to destroy that Inky while I was at it just for spite. All the doors suddenly shut. Okay, I guess that means Adam wants a word with me. Have it your way, dude. Uploading data. Well done, Samus. You have stopped the planet from cooling. In addition, you have gained the screw attack ability. It will help you access previously unreachable places. Yes, that's the idea. You are far more combat ready than when you first arrived, but you are still not prepared to face Raven B. There is a very low probability of success in standing against him now. Yeah, particularly because he's probably been infected by the axe at this point, and that's only going to make him stronger. But yeah, I really didn't need to be told that. You know, thanks for the concern, but I pretty much had all that figured out on my own. Alright, so I'm going to go to Catarus, and I'm going to check out this lava here while I'm at it. fire weren't hurting me before. Well, that's annoying. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice that thing was down there. I just landed right on it. <laughs> Alright, 
so back to Catarus, so I can go through that screw attack wall in the boss fight chamber and see what else I can locate. Probably not very much, really. But I am very curious, so I'm going to go check anyway. Loading screen. Da 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 da. Alright, now. What is open to us now? Okay, there's a, an item here hidden underneath, if I recall correctly, a power bomb lot. Can't use that yet because I don't have power bombs. Hmm. And now that I take a look, there's a huge lot, load of stuff to check out down around where I fought Ridley that time. That might be worth checking out. Couldn't go higher here. Now that I have the space jump, can definitely do that. Yeah, this would definitely be worth checking out. Now, if only I had the wave beam. I could open that door from above and then go around. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to go back to the boss room where I defeated experiment number Z57 go up here through the screw attack wall and then go in here and check out things down here Nothing in there. Except lava, which I walked through once before because I fell into it. Ouch. That actually hurt a bit. this way? Well, not really. 
I wonder if I can get that mist looks banished up there. Let's go check it out. Go back that way now. Couldn't before. I can. Speaking of which, yay! Alright, now where? Uh, now down here. Last time I was here, I wasn't able to open that door. Pretty sure I hadn't found the grapple beam yet. Okay, more missiles. Always helpful. Now where? Hmm. I can't get through there yet. I have to open that door from above and then go around, I'm pretty sure. Once I get the wave beam, I can take care of that, but until then, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, let's go back to Ridley's boss room and see if I can see anything there. I still wonder if Ridley's going to be coming back. I also wonder if I can get out in that direction. I don't think I can. No, I can't. This is a one-way entrance. Wait, Morph Ball Launcher exit? What? So there's something down here. Okay. Worth checking out. track under there. So, well, this was worth the time. Of course, to explore further above, oh, that's interesting. That's probably a way that you could hurt Ridley. Rid Why do I keep saying Ridley? Cray. That's probably a way I could have hurt Cray. 
launched myself out there as the Morphball and bombed his belly button. remember that for if I ever decide to do another playthrough, which honestly I might not because, boy this game is rough. I was doing the grapple beam correctly. And I got another one of these. An unknown resource. It was kind of weird that it lets me gather them when I can't use them. But, eh. Whatever, I suppose. Okay, so if I want to explore this area up here... I really have to go the long way around. Well, actually, I guess it's not too long. I go back out through this grapple beam door that I came in through, and up here to the Emmy area, and just a quick jaunt around like that. Yeah, I can do that. I just had the realization that I used the grapple beam more for going through doors and other obstructions than for actually grappling from points on the ceiling. There's very little of that. Okay, so let's keep going up. Sensor locked door. And yeah, this way. Filling in the mini map, la da 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 da. Still not tired of the song. Now where? Now... Oh, there's an interesting spot right there. That goes off the map. Well, I definitely have to check that out first.
and this must be the other way <clears throat> in slash out. Okay. about this place. Ah, speed booster blocks, of course. This one is the way into this area. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Oh, a teleportal. Before I use it, Teleportal. Aha! Uh -huh. Very interesting indeed. Okay, let's save. Okay, back to exploration. Alright, do I want to use the teleportal or do I want to go back into the Emmy area? Mm. No, there's really nothing else in here. The only thing there is is this uh, power bomb block that obviously I can't destroy yet. So, yeah, no point to that. Let's see where it goes. Back to Gavarin. That's quite a trip.
will it uh, let me out somewhere that I can actually access something good? a one way out or can I get back up I can get back up and if I had found this place by luck before I wouldn't have been able to get through because the door would have been shut now that I've opened the way oh man now I'm torn go down and get into this area now. Is there anything else worth getting? Oh man. I don't see any glowing areas on the map in the Emmy section. I do see a glowing area down here with these odd random morph ball tunnels. I'd really like to be able to get down here. But in order to do that, I have to come back from Berenia. Or maybe, maybe if I get into these morph ball tunnels, it'll let me get around here to this plasma beam door. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to run with this. Wait a second. I can't get out there? Oh, man. Oh, really? Bah. That's... That is annoying. Can I get back out over there? Yes, but it's going to be quite a roundabout trip. Phooey. I do want to go this way now. Oh, a boss. That's interesting. 
wonder what's up there. So that leads me to a boss room, does it? Hmm. Well, I'm running a little bit low on time, actually. Considering how well I usually do on my first attempts against these bosses, I don't think I'll have the time to fight whichever boss it is. I'm going this way is because I want to try to get go all the way back here to this area to see if I can get down in here and that's gonna take for bloody ever it's a very long trek eh, who cares Wait a second, can I get out here? Oh, no, I can't get out here! Ugh. I can only go back to Ferenia. Because this blasted thing is blocking my way down. I can screw attack up, but I can't screw attack down. Now that is irritating. Oh man. <laughs> I'm basically at a dead end unless I want to go back to Ferenia or go up and fight this boss. And no, I don't want to do that right now. I want to explore some more. Eh. Very annoying. Very annoying. And on we go. Okay, if I want to get back out. I could go onto the I could go through the green teleportal. I don't remember where that goes. I just remember that as it stands it's a one way trip. Oh, that whole thing is screw attack wall. Oh, okay. That's convenient. Oops. Well, that was careless. I just don't want to do this stuff yet. Get up there. Ah, get up. There we go. How do I get through 
here. Okay, so I go through that beam block, go up that way, and up that way. Okay. Alright, and back this way. I mean, sure, that would be a convenient way to get back to Gavrin. But I don't want to go that way yet. There's more exploring to do. And I just don't think I have enough time left in this video to get into another boss fight. Unless I want this video to go for like an hour and a half. And that's a bit too long for my tastes. here, fill in some more of the map, check out this area, see if I can find the hidden, the hidden uh, expansion. It's probably in this morph ball tunnel here, because that's under the lava. And that's not too terribly far. Go out here, down here, over here, down there. there. Okay. attack makes this so much easier. an easy way through these areas without having to get stuck in Craid's chamber. 
Okay. And Is there anywhere else worth checking out? Not particularly. I mean, I wish I could go in here, but yeah, I just can't make it yet. I need the wave beam. And I get the feeling I'm going to get that from the final Emmy. Uh, is there anything else worth doing? Anything at all? Not particularly. probably be worth it just to take that orange teleportal and go back to that boss fight. Really no reason not to. Well, on the other hand, now that I think about it, where was the next travel site that I used before? This one here to Dairon, I think. Maybe I should just do all of the areas in order and explore to see what I can find. Although, eh. That sounds like something for late game after I've gotten the power bombs. Because there are definitely a few places I can't go without the power bombs. I get to where I want to go. By going this way. Uh, yep. This will do. guys that used to give me trouble. So satisfying. And now... I guess I could take the red teleportal. See where that gets me. But that just takes me back to Artaria, doesn't it? I'm gonna check that out. takes me back to Arteria. Yeah, absolutely no point to do that one. Okay, orange teleportal it is. And that's not too far away from here now.
Okay. Back to Gavarin. And I'll get down to that save room that's un that's below the boss door and end the video there. And then in the next episode we'll see about that boss fight. Ah, uh, but first, long loading screen. Da 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 da. Loading, loading, loading. Keep them doggies rolling. Man, this is really boring. Rawhide. That didn't rhyme very well, but. I'm not much of a singer. Alright YouTube viewers, thanks for watching this far, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Metroid Dread as we head on up, check out that boss door and the boss that lies beyond it, and get killed several times, as per usual, I am sure. Later!